So um, do you want to give me just sort of a, a quick rundown on, on you know, what, what is the, the meat of the news? What, what are we announcing at the show that we want to really kind of highlight? And it, you can make it as simple as possible, as complicated as possible. You know, just throw it out there as far as what we're announcing. So when we come to new solutions that have to do with regulatory challenges, like currently we're dealing with the eventual ban of cuprous oxide uh, as a bottom paint, which has been the magic bullet for quite a few years. They generally have a lower level of performance than existing products. Generally, you're downgrading until we can find something that's equally as toxic and as harsh on the environment. And it's kind of been a game of whack-a-mole for, for a few decades and figuring out a product that will function and will meet regulatory requirements. That's not the situation with the Hempel product. Uh, with the Hempel products, both HempaSpeed and Silic One, we now have a product that exceeds uh, the quality and performance in outside tests, uh, in our experience in using it in the field, than Cooper's oxide products. So we're not making any compromises at all. In fact, we're upgrading by being able to use Cooper, a non cuprous oxide, non biocide product. Uh, it is easy to clean. It has some properties that are significantly an improvement over cuprous oxide products, such as that it's non conductive. So it reduces electrolytic conversion. It's very important. Our sinks are going to last longer. Our engines are going to last longer. Our parts are going to last longer. We have a, a hydrophobic barrier coat that's so slick that we're seeing five to seven percent gains in fuel economy that we can verify. That's a big number. I've got a 62 McKinley sitting in the shop out here and this guy goes back and forth to Alaska here. Five percent savings for him is a good chunk of money. It's enough to pay for the entire bottom job in a single year. That's an important thing to look at. So the crux of the argument that we have is we have a high performance product that's non biocide. It will not be taken out by regulatory agencies at any point in time in the near future, and we don't have to deal with uh, corrosion issues. These are huge factors, especially in an environment that we work in. We work in a place where we have lots of aluminum boats, lots of boats that are uh, hundreds and thousands and thousands of these things are sold all across the Pacific Northwest, and nobody's putting on a bottom paint product that really functions. So. We now have a product that functions on those. It's not cuprous oxide. We don't have to deal with that. We don't have to deal with the primer coats that you have to do and the danger of putting that on an aluminum boat or using a inferior product. We've got something that works. Is it a magic bullet? It's about as close as we're gonna get to a magic bullet right now. And I think as an industry, we need to be very aware and very cognizant that we are right on the precipice of a fundamental change in how we're gonna operate and it's going to be regulatory. And we have to react to that. So getting ahead of that curve is where I see Hempel being the highest level of success for us and our biggest motivator for moving forward. We want to get ahead of that curve, be established in the product line and be a leader in our field. Our customers receive a better product and a better longer term uh, operation, a better longer term maintenance program.